let me write it down on here. It's going to be so number eight, okay. Four divided by two in plus two. Give me a second. Last, the last worksheet we did, the bottoms of the fractions were monomials, one single term. Here we have these plus signs, so that means there's more than one term in each fraction. Those are polynomials, right? Meaning more than one term. <coughs> Steps are a little bit different. <coughs> First step is easy. You're going to completely factor everything. Okay? So you can just write that completely factor everything. So um, going back here, there's only one thing in this problem that we can factor. Can I point that out? Is it the uh, two? Yeah. Two, or two and the four. The no, two, two in? Yeah, All right. So it'd be there, there's, hold on, hold on. Let, let me break this down a little bit for you. This has four components. Top left, huh? bottom left, top right, bottom right. So the, the only thing that can be factored is the bottom left. What can you do? Two. Four. Pull out a what? Yeah, pull out a two, so it would be n plus one. N plus one, okay. That's what we're going to do. I was like, oh, I could Okay, that's still minus. All right, so right off the bat, you need to do that for these. I can go ahead and tell you, though, that um, the only ones you'll really have to factor on the back page are 6, 8, and 10. Actually, you don't really even have to factor 10. But you can. Pretty much everything else, you won't have to do this step. So I was just showing you this one. Okay. Next step, cancel common factors. Okay, or you could just say cancel, cancel. Okay, uh, looking at this, can you see anything that will cancel? Oh, okay. Let's talk about that. Okay, because of this minus sign, you cannot cross cancel. So you can only cancel up and down. Yes, good, Joey. Four and two will cancel to two. Okay. So when it's plus and minus, you cannot cross reduce. Does anybody, everybody understand that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, can we combine these yeah. fractions? Nope, not yet. Why not? <coughs> you can't because the bottoms have to be the same. Okay, the tops are the same, but to combine two fractions, the bottoms have to be the same. Oh, I'll, I'll talk about that. That's why we're doing this. So the real question is, what is the, what is the least common multiple of the bottoms? Six Oh, okay. Nope, so i got to explain that. Nope. First of all, if we put them in parentheses, can you see that each of those are factors? Twelve. <laughs> Twenty-four. All right, just read this step with me, step three. Determine which factors the right denominator has that the left does not. Determine which factors the right denominator has that the left does not. Can you see that the right denominator has an n plus six, but the left one doesn't? Yeah. You're just going to write that up. You'll be able to do it in your head as we. Okay, I know that, that step is kind of wordy, okay? But you're just looking on the right denominator to see which factors it has that the left doesn't. If you look at this worksheet, most all the denominators are different. So, for example, number one, the right denominator has a 5b plus 6, the left one doesn't, okay? Or number two, the, the right denominator has a v minus 2, the left one doesn't. So most of the time, they don't have any common factors. So you'll just write whatever that right denominator is. OK, conversely, yeah, conversely, for step four, you're going to do the other thing. You're going to see which factors <coughs> the left denominator has. Well, we already simplified it. Which factors the left denominator has that the right doesn't. In this case, it'd be what? Plus one. Plus one. N plus one. That's step four.
Okay, you're going to put those two things together, and that's going to give you your LCM. Okay? So we're going to put N plus 6 and N plus 1 together. That's your LCM. I'll give you something to copy. And denominator uh, of the right... Uh, sorry, I messed that up. Okay, so basically this step is just to turn the left fraction into the uh, LCM. So what is the left fraction? Let's look. It's 2 over N plus 1. So what would you have to multiply that by to get the LCM? <coughs> yeah, basically the other denominator. Okay, 9 times out of 10 is just going to be whatever the other denominator is. Okay? Now why are we doing that? Because the bottoms have to be the same. They both have to be n plus 1, n plus 6, or we can't combine them. That's why we're doing that. Okay, we already determined that the left fraction has an n plus 1, so we're going to have to take the right fraction and multiply by n plus 1 in order for it to be the same denominator. So I'm going to take, I'm going to try to write everything on one page, even though it's kind of, whoops, it's a 2. It's hard to do it. So we have 2 over n plus 1. We just multiplied by n plus 6, right? Okay. Now we're going to take the right fraction. Notice I'm putting everything in parentheses. That's important. I'm going to take the right fraction being subtracted and multiply it by n plus 1. So if you want to do it, show it this way, it's basically switching. You're taking this fraction's denominator and multiplying the left one by it. And you're taking the left fraction's denominator and multiplying the right. It's the same thing when you, you add any two fractions, say 2 thirds plus 1 half. You'd have to multiply the left by 2 and the right by 3. It's just in this case, they're factors. Well, I just wrote step 5 and step 4 back. OK, that's fine. I think you added that. Yeah, I did. Okay, so let me ask you guys, do they have the same denominator now? Yes. Yes, okay. So we can combine it into one fraction. I normally don't simplify until I combine it, so I'm just going to write all of this at the top as one, fra as one uh, expression, and then the bottom will just be this one single fraction instead of two. Okay. So again, I'm just rewriting the top. <coughs> 2 times n plus 6, <coughs> I'm not doing any simplification, minus 2 times n plus 1. Okay? And the bottom is just going to be one single fraction. It's going to be that LCM, n plus 1 times n plus 6. Okay. All right, we only have one thing left to do on this problem, and that's to um, simplify the top. So what would you do first? In accord of Pim, in, according to PEMDAS, what would you do? Okay, you would look in the parentheses, but n plus 6 and n plus 1. Next, you would look for exponents, no exponents. Next is what? Multiply. multiply. So we're going to multiply the 2 times the n and the 2 times the 6. Now, this is a negative 2, okay? So it's going to become negative 2n and then negative 2 times 1. So the next step is to perform PEMDAS in the numerator only. You don't need to uh, multiply the bottom out, okay? When we look at the key on this worksheet, it's just going to have two factors on the bottom, just like it has here, okay? But anyway, the top left, 2n plus, 2 times n plus 6 will become what? 2n plus 12. Okay, and again, um, this is minus 2n minus 2. This is a negative 2. You have to distribute to both. Okay, and again, I'm just going to leave the bottom the same, so it's going to be n plus 1 times n plus 6.
Okay, so next step of PEMDAS would be to add and subtract. 2n minus 2n cancels, which is going to be z 0, right? Cancels out. And then 12 minus 2 is 10. So the top of the fraction is just going to become 10. The bottom will stay the same. Okay, and that's it. That's All right. it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I know that there's a lot going on here. Like I said, for, for right now, just find the LCM. Um, there are more steps involved sometimes that you won't have to do on the worksheet. Sometimes you might have to factor the numerator um, and then cancel common factors again, but not on the worksheet. Okay? And then you'd have to multiply the numerator out, but I kept it simple for you guys, so uh, you won't have to do those steps.